Welcome to a Bonzolium video. I should have done this before. I thought about doing this several years ago. If you see most of my symbol videos, like Piscean Zildjian weights and talking about giant beats and Piscean 2000s and 505s and Stambles, what this video is, this, this is somewhat of an interactive video. What we're going to do here is everybody out there in YouTubeville and Collectorville and Piscean Symbolberg, your original Giant Beats, your original series Giant Beats, made from 1967-ish, late 70s. Believe it or not, Peisty Bob has found some black label Giant Beats, original series from as late as 1977. In fact, I have a photograph, I think, here at the house somewhere, well, on my computer, of a 1977 Giant Beat black label 24. So here, what I want everybody to do, if you can, here in this video, in the comments below, this this will sort of act, at least in the short run, until the Peisty Wiki gets up and running again, as the sort of poor man's depository or repository of original Giant Beat weights. Giant Beat symbols offered by Peisty weights. The original, not the 2005 and on. And if you want it for fun, you know, you can throw your... No, don't even do that here, okay? Let's just keep this original. White label and then early. Remember, they did have black label ones from 71-ish to 77-ish. So, put the weights here. So, we say, well, I have an 18 that's whatever grams. We're going to quote it in grams. Try to get as best weight you can. Little digital scales are pretty cheap. Um, so, again, you'll have typically out there from that area, you'll have, while well, the original 1820s, 24s, and 15 inch hats, there were also 14 inch, as there are now, 14 inch original giant bead hi hats back in those days, okay? So, let's post our weights. I have so I do have a, when George was here, I got his 18. So, stand by. George's, George Flutus' 18-inch original white label giant beat that he uses, in, you gotta watch, Bonzology channel, B-O-N-Z-O-L-O-G-Y, here on YouTube, Terry and George. The giant beat, he, the 18 he uses in those videos is 1,462 grams. Okay, that's about average. If I recall, I think Peisty Bob has told me he's come across original 18s in the 1,370, 1,380-gram range in the low on the low end and possibly as high as 1550 on the high end. Remember, in those days, no matter what anybody will tell you, because Peisty Bob has the most practical, been there, done it, seen it experience, the original Giant Beats had a pretty substantial weight variation, at least on the 18s and the 20s. Okay, the 24s, I think, were generally in the 2950 ballpark, and the hi hats were, I think, were pretty much consistent. I don't have those weights handy, but the 18s and 20s had pretty big variations, especially the 18s. So, let's post those weights here, shall we? Um, and I will look up and I will post here too, some weights I have stashed on the computer somewhere. Um, because I was just thinking about the original Giant Beat series again, I thought this would be nice. Maybe I'll do another video where there's a 602 series. Although there doesn't seem to be that much of a difference in weights in the 602s, even through the even through the blue label era. Remember, symbol companies beefed up their symbols over the years. Well, for two reasons, which were kind of the same thing. Music got louder and stuff, people hit louder, hit harder. Symbols became more fragile. They had to beef them up for physical breakage. But also, too, the thicker and heavier they are, the more they carry. Although I didn't personally notice that phenomenon as much in um, 602s. Definitely in um, 2002s, right? 505s, 404s. So, that's what this video is for. Um, if you want a Bonzolium t-shirt, shoot me an email at bonzolium at gmail.com. Okay, we'll discuss. I'll tell you, you know, it's this much. If you want to PayPal me or send me money, I will ship it to you. I've gotten nothing but great reviews on my Bonzolium Halloween credits. Remember the end of original Halloween 1978 where at the last part of the cast it says The Shape, Nick Castle? Nick Castle's a director in Hollywood. He was a friend of John Carpenter's. He played The Shape. He played any time there was a scene that showed Michael Myers, with the exception of when the mask came off at the end, there's a different actor, okay? And then the beginning with the little kid. That was Nick Castle.
because he was a very tall, big guy. And they told him to just sort of walk like a robot. So, I'm gonna use these drums. I gotta tune this baby up a little. This is a little too, like, 1977. Sounded. Okay, so another thing too, remember, uh, the gig I'm going to be playing with Cashmere, the Chicago Led Zeppelin tribute band, is now in, it's at the Arcada Theater in St. Charles, okay, it's not in Evanston anymore, so that's a week, two weeks from tomorrow, June, Saturday, June 23rd, 8pm, at the Arcada Theater, you can watch me there freaking out with the band, and I'm also going to use this iPhone, okay, this is what I'm going to use to record the gig. And like I said, I did it at the gig a month ago. I actually did it, but I forgot to record when it actually started. But it'll look great. The view will be from about right, right here, and I will provide commentary. I'll be like, all right, everybody, we're about to do rock and roll. Boy, I sure hope I make it through it. You know what I mean? We'll blast through it, and you'll see Frank come over to me and be like, come on, you know, don't talk to the camera. We're going to bang. And we'll bang it out. We'll do Celebration Day, and then we'll go into the Lemon Song, and then we'll go into How Many More Times, and the Wanton Song. Actually, yeah, I think that's the order. Something else, something else. Moby Dick, right into the song, remains the same. Something else, something else. Stairway to ha I mean, it's just a, it's a veritable, veritable cornucopia of Led Zeppelin. -dom. So I'm, I'm working on my, trying to get my mojo up, to be honest. I've been fighting what I thought were allergies pr really badly in the last few days. But I think it might be a summer cold. And it kind of sucks. So, anyway, more videos on the way. I'll have that up. George and I making more videos on Bonsology next week. Don't forget the shirts if you want them. Uh, we are going to make some Bonsology t-shirts, too. I want to make those kind of cool. Wouldn't it kind of be cool if it had maybe mine and George's, so like a silhouette of our... Well, maybe not. Something. But anyway, so in this video, put your weights for original series Giant Beats. This will be very valuable to a lot of people. Like, there's Jerry from Nebraska. Hi, Terry. Hi, Fellow Bonzoites, I have two 20-inch originals. Uh, what is uh, 1,879 diagrams? The other is 20. You know what I mean? It'll be really nice, okay? So then we'll be able to see firsthand, okay? Maybe Pisces eventually would offer a special edition original Giant Beat reissue. Because remember, the original Giant Beats, at least on the 18s and the 20s, and the hats, not so much the 24s, are, are sort of really a different symbol slightly, the shape of the symbol. If you ever get your hands on any Peisty 505s and 404s in the 18 and 20, and, well, 505s anyway, uh, 2000s, 3000s, some of the 500 and 900 marching series back in the day, they're shaped exactly like original Giant Beats. In fact, I was talking to my main man, Nate. I forgot about this. The original 500 and 900 and even 1000. Remember, there was a 1000 series, a drum set series that I think had blue ink. Or was it purple? Then there was also 1000 Rude. Honest to God, that had green ink. But there was also a 1000, like, marching that I think had purple ink, too. Anyway, the 500, 900, and 1000 that were not color sound, physically, they looked exactly like Giant Peaks, except they were really, really heavy. Same shape, same fine lathing. 99.97% repeating. So more videos on the way. Leave your original Giant Beat weights here. This is sort of an experiment. We'll see if it works. Maybe for all practical purposes, we'll sort of make our own, at least a subset of a Peisty Wiki. With at least data, right? I'll make another video for the like like the 2002s, like I said, 602s, and we'll make one for the 505s and stuff. So everyone can put their weights, right? Thank you for watching. I, I really, really appreciate my subscribers. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, but I've been wanting to get a little more into If I do some more of these cashmere gigs, I'd like to post a few more of those where you actually really see me playing Zeppelin, okay? I think that's important. So you see that I can actually do it, or I think I can do it. So again... Thank you for watching. Sincerely, more videos on the way. Have a good weekend. Remember, two weeks from tomorrow at the Arcada Theater in St. Charles. God, I hope it's St. Charles. I think it's St. Charles. It's either St. Charles, Geneva, or Elgin. It's not Elgin, but it's on the Fox River, okay? The Arcada, A-C-R-A-R-C-A-D-A, -A -A, okay? Ron Anesti, he's the fellow that puts it on. He's the Midwest Bill Graham now. Wonderful guy. I've actually known him a long time. Not through gigging. I knew him personally through some other. So here we are. And that's it.
Okay, so, um, okay, more videos on the way. Thank you for watching, sincerely.